Hello, my name's Ray Caroline Calvin, and I help people going into their future, future life progression. What is it you may ask? Well, did you know that you don't need a DeLorean or a TARDIS to go into the future? I know, amazing, isn't it? I come from a very spiritual background. Um, you know, I was brought up with palmistry, spiritualism, tarot cards, paganism, etc. But I always had a really inquiring, analytical brain. In fact, I probably drove my parents mad with all the how, what, why questions that I always asked them. In fact, I even persuaded them at one point to buy me a microscope set because I wanted to see, you know, how things work. In fact, I've still got a scar on my finger um, from where the scalpel accidentally you know, cut me when I was dissecting something. But at least I got to see my blood underneath the microscope, which was absolutely amazing. And they even got me a telescope um, because I was so interested in how the stars work, the moon, the universe, you know, how, how did things, you know, progress. And I remember when I was about 11 or 12, I watched the program on TV. Now, if you're of a certain age, you might actually remember this program called Tales of the Unexpected. And if you don't remember the title, you would definitely remember the theme tune. And that was... Uh, I think a program they did, it was um, about somebody went back to their past life. And that really got me thinking. And, you know, it resonated with me, you know, with the conscious, the subconscious. How does it work? Where does it take us? What, what can it do? So, you know, for, for years I kind of like dabbled and played about with it. But then as always with these things, teenage life, boys, work took over. And... You know, you just carry, you just carry on with life dabbling here and there. And then a friend of mine decided that they wanted to um, do past life regression. They needed a, somebody to practice on, so I volunteered, and it was absolutely amazing. You know, they took me back to a past life, and I actually felt myself as a ten year old child, and the lessons I learned at that time. And that made me think, you know, something I want to learn about this. So I actually did training to become um, a past life regressionist. And what I was finding was that when I was taking people into the past, we were healing and clearing stuff. So it didn't affect them in the present because they no longer had those issues. But there was something that was missing. I, it just didn't feel complete. And then I just happened to go on to, um, I think it was Facebook, and um, there was an article or someone was talking about Anne Jersh, who was the founder and pioneer of future life progression. And I looked into it and it's like, Oh my God, it's like a light bulb moment. It's like, well, if we can go into the past to heal the past so that it doesn't affect you in the present, if you go into the present, if you go into the future and you know what your future is going to be like, you're not going to worry in the present. You know, if I knew five years ago what I know now, there were lots of changes I would have made and I probably would have moved my life on a lot faster. Now, where I've been working with clients, you know, quite often they're at that crossroads in their life where they're not sure where they want to go. You know, the children might have left home. They might be changing jobs. They might just have, I feel like there's something different in my life. You know, I had a lady who came to see me who was working in an office. Um, and we took her into a future lifetime. And she actually saw herself working with children and helping them grow and develop. And the strange thing is that she didn't have any interest in children. In fact, she didn't have her own children. She'd never thought about working with children in any way, shape or form. But because she'd experienced this in her future life and she saw the, what she was doing, the amazing benefits it had and the energy that, that she created, you know, she brought that energy back. And the next thing I know, she's actually doing, um, you know, she's learning to be a teacher in this lifetime so that when she gets into her future lifetime, she already knows what she's doing and she's developed all the things that she needs to learn, but also helping children in the here and now. So, I mean, how wonderful is that? to know what you're doing in the future, whether it's five, 10 years or the next lifetime, but you don't have to worry about it and you can change your life now.